Oh, hey YouTubers, what is going on? It is your boy once again, the charismatic anime fanatic, along being the AJ Lee fanboy, RKO25A2. As promised, here to give my WWE Hell in a Cell pay per view prediction. With only four matches on the card, and hopefully once after SmackDown tomorrow, they'll have more, but I'm just going to go with it, and let's not waste any time and get these predictions underway. Alright, kicking off the card is, of course, for the third time, you have the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix, against the Divas Champion, Kelly Kelly. And, what can I say, um... As of late, you, you know, Kelly Kelly has been getting the biggest push of a lifetime. You know, she's been winning and winning and winning. And most of us, including myself, are kind of getting a little tired of Miss Kelly Kelly. Even though she's kind, even though she's hot and all, but it's like at the same time, I'm just kind of getting tired of her. Like most folks. And what I'm praying, just like everyone else, everyone else, that she gets beat at Hell in a Cell. It's Beth Phoenix's time. And all I have to say is if she don't win, then I'm going to ride. You know what I'm saying? So, once again, I know if Beth does not win this match, I swear to God I'm going to ride. So, once again, Beth Phoenix for the win. And she will, she will be the fourth Diva to win both the Divas and Women's Championship by Hell in a Cell Sunday. Mark my words. Alright, next match is the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus against one more match. Christian. Uh, as you know, this feud has pretty much been going about a month now. You know, Sheamus is tired of Christian's whining, bitching, and complaining like he's been doing as of late. And Sheamus and at Night Champion, as you remember, um, Sheamus knocked out Christian with a bro kick after he was, you know, the one more match deal and stuff, and then Pretty much like everyone else, Sheamus is pretty much tired of Christian's whining and playing. So, who I want to win this match, it's obvious that Sheamus is going to win this match because as of late, Sheamus is beginning a push and stuff, and he's starting to get over as a face, which I'm happy about. And I and I like Sheamus too now too. And and sadly with Christian, I'm like I don't see him. I know getting any wins anytime soon, but hopefully sooner or later he'll start getting back up there. But for right now, Christian's pretty much on the back burner once again. Sucks, but hey, it is what it is. All right, once again, your winner, Sheamus. All right, we get on to the World Heavyweight Championship match inside the structure of Hell in a Cell uh, against with the World Stones Man, more him, the Hall of Pain. If if everybody's on, oh God, Mark Henry, and of course with Randy Orton, as you know. Night Champions, um, the highlight of the night, in my opinion, was Mark Henry winning the World Heavyweight Championship, being the first, first African-American World Champion since Booker T, since 2006. Yeah, it's, it's true fact. And, and as you already know, I am not the biggest Mark Henry fan, nor Orr fan. But in this case, with Mark Henry being the champ, it's kind of like a breath of fresh air, if you know what I'm saying. So, he has been on a roll, man. It's like no one can stop him. It's like he's living up to his name for the first time in his career. He really is the world's strongest man. And we'll see if, if, if he can keep it up and think, hoping his title won't be a short reign. Like, a, will Mark Henry be a one-hit wonder or... Or will Mark Henry once again prove his dominance inside the structure of Hell in Cell? Alright, we get on to the main event. Should be the main event. Uh, the first ever triple threat Hell in a Cell match for the WWE Championship would be uh, John Cena versus... I know. <laughs> Alberto Del Rio against CM Punk. And, oh, what can I say? All three of these men have some connection. You had, over SummerSlam and Money in Bank, you had John Cena and CM Punk feuding for the WWE Championship. And then recently with Night Champion, um, I know, Alberto Del Rio faced off with John Cena, and he cashed in 
and he was the W champ going into that. But uh, sadly, unlike Del Rio and Johnson, it proved once again that his destiny he finally would Del Rio ass. And in most of people's chagrin, yep, John Cena is your current record breaking ten time. WWE champion, whether you like it or not, and, and oh, with, yeah, with this, I mean, they have all connections, and hopefully at night, oh, oh sorry, Hell in a Cell, that John, that, that with this match, oh, I hope, I hope either John Cena or CM Punk wins, but from the looks of it, I think Cena's going to retain, because it wouldn't make sense for him to lose it just for two weeks. After he just got it back, and, and 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 with this, I don't know, but but I think something shocking is gonna go down in doing this main event match. I, I'm dead serious. I think something is gonna go down in this match. Maybe Kevin Nash might come back again. Maybe Miz and Archie, because I've been hearing they've been destructing house shows and calling each other hypocrite and all this stuff. So I think something shocking is gonna happen once the match gets towards the end. So once again, my pick is John Cena. You love them, you hate them. Alright, that was my Hell in a Cell predictions. And hopefully the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view will do good. You know, I'm not going to be able to chance to watch because I'll be at, once again, Anime Weekend Atlanta. And and for any of you who watch the SmackDown tomorrow, please tell me, message me, comments on what happened so I can be updated and not and get rusty. So, once again, this is your boy, RKO2582, signing off. Hell in a sack!